morning guys so um i was getting ready to start on a 15 bean soup and i wasn't going to film but i figured maybe since we like soup so much here on this channel maybe you guys didn't want to see it so um, i already got everything kind of laid out well what i'm starting with and i'll go over that and then we'll start putting the soup together but i'm using this package right here this is the 15 bean soup this is the this is the cajun variety um they do have just the regular ham um, flavoring but this is all that the store had in stock so I'm using this and I don't actually mind the Cajun flavoring because I'm actually um, going to be using some sausage with this later as well so here are the beans um, what I did last night I had them soaking for about 12 hours last night and um, I just divided up into these two containers so it'll be easier to soak them but this is what the beans look like it's just a 15 bean variety <laughs> obviously and um, I filled it up with water and let them soak and I drained them probably about um, three times throughout that 12 hour um, soaking process and the reason why you want to soak your beans is um, it makes it a lot easier for them to cook because they're, they're softened a little bit, but also too draining it um, and soaking helps with the digest digestion um, for your beans. So we definitely <laughs> want that. Um, and then right here, I um, what I did was I um, sauteed some onions, garlic, celery, and carrots um, in this pan. And oh, I wanna also mention this recipe I actually um, pulled from TikTok. The TikTok page is Grow a Flower on TikTok, and I'll make sure I'll link that down below. But um, I follow her on TikTok, and she loves to share recipes there. And this is something that she shared um, about two weeks ago. Um, this is not her exact recipe. She did it a bit different, but the inspiration <laughs> comes from hers. Um, and... Um, particularly this step with sauteing down your aromatics first. So in here is um, two carrots, uh, three um, stalks of celery, one small onion, and a lot of cloves of garlic, <laughs> probably about eight or nine cloves of garlic. And what I did was um, I used my mom. She has a, this uh, food chopper and uh, Grow a Flower did this as well. Instead of just sitting chopping them all up, um, she just put them in the little food chopper, chopped them and sauteed them. And then I did saute them in with about um, three teaspoons of um, bacon um, grease. I like to save my bacon fat. Um, whenever I cook bacon in the air fryer or whatever, um, this is good to flavor um, any of your dishes with. So these are all sauteed. And what we're also going to use is I'm going to use my ham bone left over from last week. Um, if you watched my last video, it was a little vlog of some sort. My family and I, we did um, our Thanksgiving early because it was more convenient for us and um, with everybody's schedule and moving and deployment and everything. So um, we did our Thanksgiving last week. If you check out my vlog, which is the very first vlog on my channel, you'll see it. But this is the leftover ham bone and I'm going to be using that for our soup. So let me get this open and we'll start getting everything into our crock pot. Okay, so here is my ham bone. Well, <laughs> it's still a lot of ham on there, which is good, which is what I want because I want a lot of smoky, meaty flavor in our soup. So um, here is my ham bone. What I'm going to do now is get our beans in here. I'm trying to do everything with one hand. So <laughs> um, bear with me, but we're just going to get our beans in here. And you can do this with any variety of bean, honestly. Um, it doesn't have to be the 15 bean um, soup. You could just do, you could do this with your split pea, um, pinto beans, <laughs> you know, you could do it with your um, navy beans, whatever. It doesn't have to be this particular variety. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get in our sauteed vegetables. So we have all of our beans in, we have in our sauteed aromatics. And now what I'm going to do is add in some 
bone broth. Um, this is bone broth that I made uh, a few months back on my channel. Um, what I'm going to do is add this in. It's still slightly frozen. I like to make them up and keep them in the freezer um, for recipes or sipping on um, if anyone's not feeling well. But this is 32 ounces, so I'm going to pour all of this in. And this is, um, it's still sort of kind of frozen. It's okay. <laughs> the crock pot is going to do its work, see, and get that um, melted down in here we're going to cook this on slow all day for about maybe um maybe six to eight hours so low and slow for about six to eight hours to bring all of this together and i need a little bit more liquid that was my last broth that i had which is okay um but i'm going to add in about two cups of water as well hey guys so here's what our soup is looking like so far um it's been in for about two hours um, we still got a good ways to go um I'm cooking it on low. You don't have to cook it on low. You can cook it on high if you want to and just cut the cooking time down. But anytime I use the, um, the slow cooker or crock pot, I like to cook everything on low. Um, so what I'm gonna do now at this point, I have a few more things I wanna add in to our pot. Okay, so what I have here is some andouille sausage that I cut up and this is just um, the brand that I'm using today. No particular brand, it's just what was on sale. <laughs> but um, this is what I'm using. So I have the entire pack. Um, cut up and this is going to go into our 15 bean soup as well. And I'm going to add just a little bit of seasoning. I have the Italian seasoning. Um, this uh, Kinder's blend which is just salt, pepper, and garlic. I don't really want to add a lot of salt because I have the sausage and then the ham um, has its own saltiness so um, we don't really need to add much. But we're going to add a little bit of seasoning as well. Um, some parsley flakes. If you have fresh that would be great. I don't but I do have these dries, so we're gonna use that. And um, I'm gonna add in two bay leaves to our crock pot. And then um, we're gonna let this go for another four hours on low, and then we'll come back and check on it again. Oh, and I should also mention, I am gonna add in about another um, half a cup, um, three quarters of a cup of liquid um, in it, just because I feel like our beans are soaking up a good amount of the liquid and we don't want, um, we want it to be more so soupy, so. We're gonna do that as well. Okay, so our soup has been on for about five hours now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in two small um, cubed potatoes and two more additional um, um, sticks of carrots, carrot sticks. I don't know I couldn't get that out. <laughs> two more carrots. Um, I have carrots already in it. You remember from the beginning where we pure, um, chopped those down, but we do like uh, a lot of carrots in our soup just for um, extra for the chunkiness. So I'm going to add these in and then let our soup go for another two and a half to three hours and then we'll be done. All right guys, so I'm going to wrap this up, but I wanted to show you our finished 15 bean soup. Just if you could see all those different layers of flavor, we have our andouille sausage, we got our ham in the bowl, we have all of our beans, our carrots, our potatoes, um, so many different layers of flavor in here. Um, I did prepare some cornbread, which is going to go with it, and I just wanted to show you the crock pot. Um, you could add, you could add in um, some chopped kale or chopped spinach if you wanted to. Um, I'm actually <laughs> not going to do that today. I was going to add some spinach in, but I think I'm going to leave it as is. Um, another thing I wanted to mention as well, um, if you are cooking your beans and you notice that they're not softening up for you, you can add in about a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda while you're cooking it um, to help soften them up. I did soak these beans for 12 hours last night and they cooked for eight hours and they still um, were not as tender as I would like for them to be. But if you put in the baking soda, it will help to kind of soften your beans up. But that is everything. Oh, I do want to mention, I did add in two additional seasonings that I did not show earlier. So let me show you those real quick. I added in this Cajun season. This is the Raging Cajun um, seasoning. I added just a little bit of this because I already had the Cajun seasoning from the bean package. And then I also added in, just for some additional flavor, I had this um, uh, vegan chicken seasoning <laughs> from Trader Joe's. I added that in as well. Probably maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon of this one. Not that much. 
But if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think. If you've tried 15 bean soup before, I'd love to know what you think about it. And if you're going to try this recipe, definitely um, come back in the comment section and let me know. And as always, um, I hope that you thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And I'll see you guys next time.